than 20,000, 30,000 hours Woke up to the blessings, I ain't even get the shower OC party, I was blowing blunts on top of couches Be about a hearse, but I was faded off the power Same death to tennis jacket, Bible by my trousers Ducking all the Latin kings, I used to chill by progress Dollar pizza, hustle, walk the bridge and close my eyelids Never been to lick, my papa never raised a cow Where your cross at? Rattles. It's not often that a rapper with talent gets interviewed. <laughs> so we got you That's here. That's a strong intro. But do you think being from New York gives you an advantage or a disadvantage? And the reason why I ask that is because there's so many ways to market yourself in New York with all the radio stations, with all the big media companies. So do you think that is an advantage? Or do you think that that could be a setback? Because sometimes it's difficult to break through that door. I think everything about me is an advantage. I don't even think about it. anything of being a disadvantage. And if it's a publicly consumed thing to be a disadvantage, then I have to just figure out a way to work, have it work to my benefit, you know? Right. There's nothing about me that is working against me. I like that. It's like a no excuses mindset. Bro, if I spend all day counting why something isn't working about me, like, right. as a, in a blame, not even why, this is what, oh, I'm Spanish, so I'm not popping. I'm from New York, so I'm not popping. I'm not right. tall enough. I don't have it. It's just like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Right? Figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So everything about me is my uniqueness. So let's just figure out how to make that accessible to the world. Rappers with skill and, and a really good way of rapping that is sort of reminiscent of the 90s, that's obviously not the climate for rap today. So how do rappers like that separate themselves from the pack. These artists are not going in there freestyling whatever comes in their head. Exactly. As if like, as if it's just recording and then you piece it together. Like Young Thug and Future and all these people, they're doing it line by line. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. not a continuous stream of thought the way freestyle is. So yeah, I don't care. As long as it's ill, it's ill. Everybody has their own methods, you know? So sometimes you would go in the booth and not necessarily write it beforehand, but you would just have like a- Yeah, sometimes sometimes you bring like 85% of the song in with you. Yeah. And leave the other 15 Did you ever get that thing where you like dream of a song in your sleep or something like that? Yeah, and you absolutely. Wake up, you yeah. gotta put it on paper. Everything, bro. In every way a song tries to find you. The way you talk about drugs and substances and money and you know, all of this like miscellaneous all of these miscellaneous things are starting to become redundant and right. now it's like you need skill again like you need at least wit you know yeah, what i'm saying tired of that, right? yeah so i think for me the pro the only thing with the j cole and the kendrick and them is like a lot of the times i feel like sometimes people are just good at rapping words they're yeah. not they don't know how to market themselves as like interesting they don't have an interesting or an original sense of style, direction in their art, an original sense of like direction in their videos. They don't have like aesthetic to buy into where you need that no matter how ill or whatever. Like that's why a lot of people are like boring artists or artists who lack substance, but they have everything else going for them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now there's something for a fan to like tune into. So I think, you know, if you're if you're somebody like a J. Core Kendrick, you've kind of paved that to a certain extent, you know, they keep theirs quiet, they keep, they, they're, they're more in the past, and they've had years to build the longevity, they have years to build, like, yeah. all of these, like, references in their work, and so what they represent when you say a Kendrick or a J. Cole, um, but for the new artists, it's just about f figuring out that world, you know, who's your voice, what's your voice, like, after you rap symmetry and soliloquy, like, who are yeah, you yeah. after that, exactly. you know what I'm saying? in conjunction with music. So there needs to be something You're a human. more you, than you need to be more than You need to be more than just talent nowadays. Exactly, yeah. You need to be, people want to buy into your humanity, you know. So is the image more important? Is the talent more important? What's the most important thing for rappers today? Well, it's always going to be talent, no matter what, no matter when. The way in which you get notoriety is always going to change because that's, a, that's something that's staying in tune with technology you know what i mean and, yeah. the, and the current pulse of the culture and the current pulse of how like the kids communicate you know what i'm saying like the, yeah. the youth have always ruled that if they change their mind to fucking wikipedia like i bet you everybody's gonna have a wikipedia collab you know what i'm saying yeah, like right, it's right. like it's a it all it all depends on where the attention is but for me the talent the talent is what matters when i'm when a phone isn't on talent doesn't matter when your phone is in charge you understand what I'm saying? When you left, when you left them, that when you left your phone at home, when your shit is dead, right? Like when, when there is, when you don't know my follower account, I'm just in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and and that's gonna, 
I'm 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 gonna be that more than I'm gonna be on the you know what I'm saying on the yeah. on the server like it's crazy. You have to pay attention to that, and you can't get dissuaded by certain avenues because if then that if that thing dies out and your whole existence was based around like an app, yeah, then when that app dies, exactly, you, you know, sort of fizzle out. I'm right. not Instagram famous, but I'm the wrong person to ask anyway. <laughs> so we we touched uh, earlier on New York and sort of uh, New York support system. Um, and you obviously have a song with Marlon Crab um, called New York Shit. So can I ask how that came together? How did you guys meet? He had a beat, he hit me up. I was like, yup, recorded it, put it out. Simple as that. <laughs> so did yeah. you know him beforehand? Uh, I guess we like we probably like talked like a little bit on the internet. And then I saw him at my boy Jay Lonzo's studio. I think that's where we first first met. Right, right. Um, we were there to work on separate songs for him. And then, yeah, and then that song came about. So who is your personal favorite rapper as someone that you sort of idolize yourself or, you know, sort of look up to in a certain way? Jay-Z in the regard of, like, experience. I'm going to be Andre 2000 in the regard of uh, lack of pre, like, prior understanding of what Andre's going to do on a mic when you record him. Uh, you could be a Kendrick in the sense of, like, I, I'm the most famous, but I'm still hungrier than you. You can be common in the sense of like, I'm operating my own world. You can be most deaf, like, yo, I'm the coolest. I'm the only one I want to be like in the future though. <laughs> you, uh, you, you, you spit one time, I tried to be like, yeah, I tried to be like Dre, I tried to be like Hope. Which one do you sort of really look up to in, in a way, uh, whether it's business acumen or talent or otherwise? All of them in certain regards too. Kanye, because he's not scared and even when he's scared, he's not scared to let you know he's scared. Jay's DNA is all over 2018, 2019, as far as like the literacy of being an artist and the understanding of contracts more than ever. Like we can, we, we talk so bad about like labels and all that shit, but like that era doesn't exist for two reasons. You know what I'm saying? One, the label structures have to change in, in conjunction with the demand and the way music is consumed, but artists is just smarter, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. Jay, outside of like, like Jay came in the game at 26. And yes, he ain't pop exactly. until his 30s, really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now it's like, you have a grown man telling, talking to the kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, And I think that that's important. So you have that in 2018, 2019, and it's like, you're still better than everybody. And you're changing the way artists are carrying themselves. And you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. cool, it's cool to be smart, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's really ill. But then under the thousand, like, you know, you're arguably, like, to a lot of people, you're the best rapper that ever existed. And right. I'm the only person in New York who hasn't seen him in the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's like he's so regular. Bro. Yeah, it's yeah, like, he's always around. Uh, he's, taking, he's taking the ego out of, of his skill. He's just a human being walking around, you know, so. Exactly. All, so, like, all of them. So, would you say Jay and Andre are two of your favorite rappers? Yeah, and most of them. Most of them. Mm -hmm. um, give me the top five. It's two more. Eminem and Common. Eminem and Common. So, so all your rappers, all your favorite rappers have a whole lot of skill. They sort of had to figure out how to make that skill work for them yeah. uh, in terms of marketing themselves. They're vulnerable about their humanities. That's why they're my favorite. They're, they're vulnerable. So they don't try to be something that they're not. They're just themselves. So you like that authenticity in, in, a, in a rapper. It's the only thing that matters. For you, being authentic is more so being true to yourself. And that's any artist, it's not just rap, you know. I don't yeah. like listening to fake R&B either. <laughs> fake R&B. Fake love songs, yeah. fake political songs, whatever genre, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? If it's real, it's real, you know. Exactly, yeah. Um, so your, your deal with Haiti Records, um, what do you think is the most important factor in that deal that works for you? What's the reason why you signed it? Because it's an independent label, so I actually learn about the business without being put on a, put on a roster with 500 other artists and never own your masters and take this big sum of money so now you're really in debt and you've never met a project manager in your life before. Exactly. You never, you, a, a, a deal like that for this next project is, is necessary for me to do my homework. In reality, you're never going to be perfect so you exactly. have to relax and you're never going to learn anything if you don't put yourself out there. So for me, you know, you calculate your risk and you balance your risk with your potential gains and you figure out if this is best for you right now and if it's introducing something new or a new frame of mind without, you know, 
you know, it's like you can go to college, but you don't have to take a million dollar loan now. You know what I'm saying? You're exactly. like, oh no, I'm not gonna, even though it feels like a million dollars. But you know what I'm saying? I didn't like, why you should take a million dollar loan out. <laughs> but it's like, you know what I'm saying? But you calculate your risk. Like, oh, you know what? I that's the worst that can go to the sixth time. Yes. Because you can't do it with the best. That's like you kind of just fuck yourself up like that. You know what I mean? It's a yeah. Everywhere else, I would just get swallowed in the system. So you mentioned uh, sometimes signing a deal with a record label and being in debt. You would have to pay back the label. Depends on the deal. Most more, more than likely, yeah. There's recoupable and non-recoupable deals. There's the potentiality of you buying your masters back. It's not like you signed away your masters now and it's gone forever. Like, there's a right. lot of people who recoup. They audit their labels. They buy their shit back, which is a trick. Yeah, and you said numerous times that music is a part of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you we just you can't. You, it's it's Radimus is two people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that's why I like like because my real name is Radimus. Like, so it's yeah, yeah. It's like I'm two people. This is just who I am. Let's let's try to make sure we live as joyful of a life as possible with it included, and that automatically comes out in the way you go about your craft and. and the substance and your intentions, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you realize how connected it is to who you actually are. Yeah. You learn as you grow that it really is a part of you. Yeah. All right, man. That's it. Well, that's wrong. Thank Appreciate you, it. man. Appreciate this so much, man. Um, that's a wrap.